Good afternoon, ambitious business owners. I hope you're all good. Um, 17th of December, countdown on. So one of the things I hear a lot from um, clients and contacts and other business friends is um, being able to switch off at this time of year. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I gave you a few tips and things to consider doing back then so that this period of time wasn't such a rush. Um, to help you to be able to shut down. Um, and I know everybody's in different industries, is in a different situation in terms of online, offline, bricks and mortar, mobile, whatever you might be. Some people may even have to work over the Christmas period, depending on what business they're in. But what I urge each and every one of you to do is to allocate at least one day where you completely shut off. And that means not flashing up your computer to check emails. Um, if you've got emails on your phone, take them off. I have no business emails on my phone um, because I don't want that as an additional interruption when I'm out, to be honest. Um, and, you know, if somebody emails me, um, then it can wait. It's not going to, um, you know, cause a problem just by leaving it. So if you can take them off your phone, even if it's just sort of Christmas Day, Boxing Day or something. So you're not distracted by those. Facebook, you know, Facebook Messenger, um, uh, Twitter or any of your social feeds and inboxes there. Just don't even look at them. Um, obviously, you'll want it perhaps for your own personal and, you know, social reasons for family and friends and things. But what I urge you to do is not to respond to any of the business messages. You can, on Google, uh, if you're listed on Google, you can set special opening hours so that you can show people when you're closed over the Christmas period. Um, you can put an auto message on Facebook saying, thank you, you know, we're, um, we have reduced hours over the Christmas period so that they're not expecting um, a quick answer as you would normally. Um, it's so important, trust me. In my first year of business, I didn't do this over Christmas and New Year. And I just never felt recharged. I never felt like I was getting a break. Because if you don't do it at Easter and you don't do it through winter either, um, all of a sudden you, you start burning out you, and you lose enthusiasm and motivation and you just feel drained with it all. Um, so I started doing it and I've been able to do it more and more by practicing and really disciplining myself to set those boundaries, turn off, set yourself. If you're going to finish on Friday, then you finish on Friday. Um, whenever you're going to finish, set that point, make sure everybody knows, communicate it to customers, clients, staff, whoever it might be. Um, you know, it's not as if you would, um, bother your staff on Christmas day. Therefore you shouldn't be bothered. Obviously, if you're in an industry where you're on duty or you've got a, a call phone or whatever, I get that. But allocate another day, whatever day it is, at least one day. I want each and every one of you to have one day where you don't look at your emails, you don't look at your social feeds. Um, you know, if orders are coming in, you don't have to process them on Christmas Day. They can wait. Um, Tuesday. Um, so that's my my tips. You've still got time to uh, make sure you've got an out of office set on your emails, for example. Make sure you've got your closing hours on your website. All of that stuff. Prep all that now because you'll forget when you get to um, Friday or whenever you're going to shut down, you'll just want to shut down. So that's my tips. Um, I, I will be taking a break. Um, so I won't be doing lives every Tuesday as normal, but I will jump in and say hi to you all and check in with you um, and share some tips and thoughts for over the over the Christmas period to get you thinking and prepared for next year. Because um, it's really important that even if you don't do your planning now, you're starting to think about it, what you want it to look like. You might want to jot down what you want 2020 to look like. What are you going to do differently? Um, so just to be thinking about it. You don't have to do anything too formal yet. But as I say, I will be taking a break, but I will be jumping in and doing some lives um, to get you thinking about next year. So thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for a great year. Um, I'm not gone for very long, um, but I will be having my shutdown days and um, I will speak to you soon. Take care.